everybody in this video i'm going to show you some of the footage from my first time going duck hunting so my friend sage invited me out to go duck hunting because he had a reservation to hunt ducks at a nearby wildlife area in california so we got to the wildlife area around 4 a.m to line up to enter i think we managed to get in around 5 a.m and then we started our walk in the dark to find a spot to hunt sage had a couple spots that he wanted to check out but all of them ended up being occupied by other hunters but we eventually found a small patch of tulies that we could use for cover. So we dropped our bags down, took out the decoys and started setting up so that we could be ready for legal shooting light, which was around 6.20 a.m. And around 6.45 a.m. I had shot my first duck. What the hell? You get him? <laughs> it's still alive, I'm trying to kill it. Oh, my first duck. Yeah, I got tangled up in the decoys. What does that do? Just cut the spinal cord. Oh, okay. Oh, it's duck right there. There you there. go. Thanks. Oh, thanks first man. duck. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Damn. That's sick. Oh, you yeah. that? Another shoveler. There's three. Third duck down. Good. Okay. What is this? You know what this is? Uh, I feel like ruddy duck might be it. So I'm just gonna quickly explain how we identify ducks in the air before we shoot at them. So the main thing that we're looking for when we're identifying these ducks is their flying pattern. Ducks have a flying pattern that involves constantly flapping their wings. When it comes to identifying the exact duck species while they're in flight, that is a lot more difficult and it's something that you learn over time through experience hunting these ducks and learning about them. There are also some duck species that have a sublimit where you can only shoot one or two of them. However, during this hunt, we didn't shoot any of those ducks, so we didn't have to worry about them. If we had, we would have had to been a lot more careful if identifying the ducks in the air before we shot at them. Why? Um, Kill them? To, I'm killing this one. This guy's tall. Yeah, you can use it. You could also wring its neck if you want to. You just spin it in a circle. Where, where, yeah. where, where do you put this? You hold its beak like this. Yeah. Stick it in its neck. Here? Yeah. Then you move it side to side like you're cutting. Like this. Nice. Was that a shoveler? I think it's the shoveler. Spoonie? What's the spoonie? Or that the shoveler? Spoonie is a shoveler, same thing? Yeah. Nice. Six ducks total. That's pretty good. What do you got? Female? What's up? That hen? Yeah, it's a spoonie hen. Hold that up. Nice. Where'd he go? Did it sink down? I thought they flow, but it's like, I don't know where he went. Oh, oh, found him. That's a weird looking, weird feet. They have a different limit or they count towards duck limit? Different limit. I'm pretty sure it's another spoonie. Oh yeah, yeah, it is, but. It looks like it might be a hybrid though. Yeah, I can't tell if it's a it doesn't look like a eh, kind of, I don't know. 
I'll just stay on the side for now. Let's get shot at it. Nice. Our hen. Yep. Nice. They're still alive. Bird number six, just one more. Yeah, one more. Well, yeah, for you. If you don't count the, the one we both shot. You take that one, we just have one more we gotta get. Alright, yeah. Yeah, so many of these uh spoonies. There's a lot of them left. Oh yeah? Is that is that like one of the most common ones in California? Or just yeah. all right. So around this time we had both shot six ducks each and we both needed one more to get our limit of seven ducks. At this point I had run out of shotgun shells so I was just waiting for Sage to shoot one more duck, get his limit and I kind of accepted that I was only going to end the day off with six ducks. Nice! Living on ducks! That's your first limit right? In California? So after Sage had got his last duck, he realized he had one more shell left and he gave that to me. So I had one more chance to get my limit. Luckily, I managed to hit my shot on my last duck. Got a ruddy duck. Number seven. <laughs> that thing was moving. How do you like duck hunting? <laughs> that was a real fun day. Oh, man, honestly, what, what an incredible day. Alright, okay, let's see it. Here we go. First day duck hunting. I got my limited ducks and a coop. And a coop. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sunday right now and uh, I'm going to spend today processing these ducks. Okay, so I'm done with a rough plucking of this bird. I'm going to cut the head off and uh, quickly get blanch, dip this duck in boiling water for like 10 seconds. Hopefully that'll help remove any remaining feathers and then use fire to burn off any of these small fuzzy feathers. All right, here's my first fully plucked wild duck. Looking pretty clean. I'm gonna put them in the fridge and then I'll get to work on the other ducks. Finished off the last two ruddy ducks. All right, so I'm done gutting all the birds. I got, put them back in the fridge. Now I got some of these organs to process. So heart, liver are simple. I'm just gonna bag them up and freeze them for now. I got to deal with the gizzards though. So I'm gonna cut them open and I'll clean them out. I got some gizzards. Here's one before cutting it open. Here's one I just cut open, and here's one that I cleaned the grit out of. The ruddy ducks have bigger gizzards. Here's a ruddy duck gizzard. These gizzards are from the northern shovelers. It's almost twice the size. Right now I'm vacuum sealing some of these ducks for the freezer. These are ruddy ducks. Okay, so now that I'm finally done processing all these ducks, it's time to cook up a dish using some of the wild duck meat. So the duck I'm using for this recipe is one of the shoveler ducks. And for this dish, I'm gonna be making risotto with asparagus and simple pan seared duck breast served on top. I don't wanna mess around with the duck meat too much because I wanna taste its natural flavors. So I'm only seasoning it lightly with some salt and black pepper. One duck breast.
Okay, well that's it for this video on my first time going duck hunting and cooking up some wild duck. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.